He was diagnosed with um, liver cancer back in 2006. His doctor expected him to, to live for about three months, but he survived for three and a half years. Nathaniel just turned four years old. Joseph was only 18 months. He really hoped to see his boy grow and to be part of their growing life. The hardest thing ever for me as a mom, as a wife to take it was when we first started when Wing is in the hospital and my kids were so little. I have been a stay-at-home mom for all this while and so all of a sudden they, they don't see their daddy and they don't see their mom in the daytime. That I remember my, my, my older son just grabbed my legs every morning and said, Mommy, don't go, don't go to the hospital. Oh, stay home with me. You know, when I see that, I, my heart really breaks. Yeah. Some project from the uh, Home Depot. Yeah. Alright, can you put the nails? Good job, Joseph. I think that's what all cancer patients have to face one day. You know, if they are not totally cured, the doctors kind of tell us that oh, my cabinet was barren. That means he has no more things for him. I think that was very, very hard for me to take that time and I was just speechless. I remember that day I was just so quiet and Wing is also very quiet until we got onto the car and we drove back. It's very hard. Not that I have to raise all my kids by myself. Well, it is very for hard sometimes because you have to all the grocery, laundry, cooking, washing. It's very overwhelming and can make me so drained. I'm so tired. Every day you have different things to do. And you never know. Like today, well I need to help the babysit a friend's kids. And when the center comes back there'll be three kids. It's like oh Thank you, Joseph. Hey, Auntie, look what we made today. That is beautiful. That's our turkey. It's a turkey, yeah. <sighs> well, I like to bring the boys out to the playground. At least they get to play and I can get to rest a little bit. Recently has been a little bit more busy because I'm starting to work in uh, my younger son's school, which I like it very much. I'm also thinking of um, going back to graduate school, so there are prerequisite tests that I need to take. I've been preparing for those things as well. So I was very thankful that I have a lot of um, people around me from the church, from my family, from my um, children's school. They support me in every area. They bring in food for us. They help me to babysit my children when I have to go to the hospital. In the school, the teacher will always keep an eye on my kids. I just need to focus to take good care of my husband. You know, there are times when people just do so much good thing for you that you feel so in depth to them. And I, I kind of feel that my depth is so huge that there's really no way for me to um, pay them back. So I think the only way for me to return their kindness is to let them know that I'm okay with my life and I can keep going on. We come here once a week to the library because the kids love to read books and so we come here to borrow books most of the time. Like a Pokemon book. I want to huh? There's one big um, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, yay! Where are you going? Chicago. Are you excited about going there? The water park. You want to go to the water park? Mm -hmm. Whoa. You know who are we going to visit? My cousin. 
I think the Bible study which I go to once a week is very, very helpful to me because the Bible study requires me to uh, do a portion of work every day before I go for the weekly meeting. That kind of spending time with God and reading His Word, getting strength from Him, that keeps me go through this very difficult time when I have to deal with wings illnesses. I think I'm very fortunate that I can find a group of ladies whom we get together once a week to pray together for our children, for ourselves. And I really enjoy that kind of times being with the ladies and we just quiet ourselves for that one hour and just come to God in prayer. Well, I think in my this grief process, um, I think I grieve, but um, I don't have any regrets because I think I have um, put in all my best for him. Even if it's very final days, those are very difficult, where he lost most of his weight. I could still willing to carry him, you know, even though sometimes the nurses will tell you, oh, don't do it because uh, it might be dangerous for him. You might drop him or it might hurt him even more. Whenever I see that, he keep asking me, oh, Irene, Irene, come and help me, come and help me. How can I not help him when he keeps requesting for it? The past three years with Wink, um, it is really difficult for me, but I've learned a lot of it through it. I've learned how to develop a more compassionate heart. Uh, I've learned how to be more patient. I have learned um, a lot of things actually. So there are blessings in disguise.